From its inception, Texas has been known as the Lone Star State. The state's logo is a single or lone star. But how did that come about? We've seen that several of the revolution's militia flags included in their design, a lone or single star, like Sarah Dodson's flag or Scott's independence flag. There are several thoughts on exactly how Texas adopted that Lone Star branding. Welcome to TDC History. My name is Anna Gonzalez. I'm your Texas History Ambassador, and today, we have to talk about one of the first, if not the first, instance in our Texas history where we find the introduction of the Lone Star into our Texas culture. Join us today as we present our video presentation about the man who introduced us to the concept of the Lone Star in our video presentation entitled First Coin But first, let me welcome you if this is your first time on our TDC page. You're at the right place if you love and appreciate Texas revolutionary history. We're glad you're here, so please hit the like and subscribe buttons and become part of our family. Additionally, if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, hit the bell notification button right now so you can catch all our stories. Also, please support our efforts at the TDC by purchasing cool Texas-style merch from our online store. Check out our vast selection of colorful and vibrant patriotic tees, available in several vibrant colors and also available in both short and long sleeves. The link to our online store, TDC Promo Gear, is provided in the description section below. And finally, if you want to learn more about the Tejanos and their participation in our Texas Revolution, remember to order your copy of our book, Tejano Volunteer Company. Stories of Our Texas Revolution by author J.L. Gonzalez. It's available on Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. Again, a link to order your copy of the book is provided below. Now, let's get back to our presentation. 200 years ago, on Sundays, the families of San Antonio would convene for Sunday service at Plaza de San Fernando at San Fernando Church as a tradition for many years. In Texas in the early 1800s, Sundays were reserved for God and family. On one of those Sundays in 1818, a 10-year-old boy came bursting out of the church's south door, minutes before the congregation entered the courtyard and plaza after the service. The boy quickly observed local vendors and their treats in the plaza, made a decision, and then ran back to his parents, who were now making their way out of the church. Father, can I buy a glass of Aguas Frescas from Mr. Martinez? The young man asked. The boy's father knew Mr. Martinez and the quality of his fresh fruit drinks. So, as always, he agreed with the boy, reached into his pocket, pulled out a coin, and tossed it to his son. Immediately, the boy caught the coin and ran off to purchase a cool, delicious fruit drink. Aguas Frescas after church service was a family tradition for the Lasoyas. The father's name was Ventura Lasoya, and the 10-year-old boy was Toribio Lasoya. Toribio would grow up to become a revolutionary fighter with the Tejano Volunteer Company. And the coin tossed to a young Toribio that day would become branded as the first coin of Texas. History remembers that Jose Antonio de la Garza was the man who minted that first coin. Jose Antonio de la Garza, known by his contemporaries as Don Antonio, was born in San Antonio de Bear, on May 31, 1776. His family was from Nuevo Leon, modern Mexico. In 1813, Don Antonio became the first elected mayor of San Antonio de Bear after the tragedy at the Battle of Medina. One of his friends who supported him and later followed his term as mayor was José Miguel de Arciniega. In 1818, after acquiring permission from the Spanish governor of Texas, Don Antonio, at 42, created the first coin minted in Texas. On one side of the coin, de la Garza imprinted his initials J.A.G., José Antonio de la Garza, as well as the year it was minted, 1818. On the other side, he fixed a drawing of one star, a lone star. 
The significance of this event was not only the creation of the first coin of Texas, but also the star symbol drawn in the currency. It is believed to have inspired the modern state of Texas logo, the Lone Star. De La Garza rented a building between Houston and Soledad streets to mint coins. He minted his coin for a year and a half. And history remembers that during the Battle for Bear in December of 1835, De La Garza's home was one of the homes that had been commandeered by the Mexican army that Texians and Tejanos fought to take back. The small coins he minted were worth the equivalent of a nickel, and everyone in San Antonio carried them as currency. Thanks to the wide acceptance of its currency, De La Garza obtained two leagues of land, or a little over 15,000 acres, between the San Antonio and Medina rivers. In doing so, Jose Antonio became one of the largest landowners in Bear County. In February 1834, Don Antonio purchased a property that would taint his otherwise successful career. History remembers that by 1824, complete secularization had occurred at a local San Antonio mission. Unfortunately, one of the five original San Antonio founding missions had marked many years of extended decline and mismanagement. Therefore, on February 29, 1824, Father José Antonio Díaz de León surrendered the church. In September 1831, the governor of Coahuila in Texas, José María Latona, sent orders stating that all mission property would soon be offered and listed for auction. In early February 1834, just one year before the start of the Texas Revolution, Don Antonio de la Garza purchased the San Francisco de la Espada mission. This transaction angered many residents, who considered the sale to be illegal. Because of this purchase, some people believe that residents later accused Don José Antonio of being loyal to Mexico during the Texas Revolution, a fact that has never been proven. Don José Antonio lived a prosperous and privileged life as one of the wealthiest Texans of his time. He was married three times and fathered many children, the best count is 15. One of his sons, José Leonardo Cristobal de la Garza, became a banker, business owner, and one of the wealthiest citizens of Bear County in his time. And one of his daughters, Carolina Angela de la Garza, would also indirectly leave her mark in Texas history forever. A series of exciting events led to naming of a Texas city after Angela. On May 5, 1851, in San Antonio de Bear, one of Texas's wealthiest men, who brought us the first coin in Texas and the concept of the Lone Star, passed away at age 75. In 1876, Garza County was named after the Garza family, who had been in San Antonio for over 200 years. Thank you for being with us today and allowing us to bring you this video presentation entitled First Coin. I'm Anna Gonzalez with TVC History. Thanks for watching and remember. Texas history. Never forget.